Okay, this is the upper respiratory uh, procedure, sometimes called the asthma move. This is another one where you lock with the legs. So the move is going to be done at the height of the top stoppers. And we're going to be doing a move of the opposite direction to where the head is pointing. Okay, so for me to do that side, I'll be lifting this leg 90 degrees, going out until a point of resistance, and then just holding it still. And then we're doing the move just at the bottom of the scapula, just at the bottom edge there. And we can do it either with your, all your fingers like this, take the skin slack towards the center line, press in, and on the out breath of a client, you do a move outwards. You can also use the palm of your hand to do this move, and sometimes you can get in deeper with the palm of the hand. So you could do the move that way with the palm of the hand. So you do that move just once, the leg down, knees slightly more together than they are. Okay, that's perfect, yeah. And then we'll have the, apply the lock again, which is just gentle pressure on the height of the top stoppers. So you can go at the height of the, just, ab just above the bottom of the sh shoulder blade there. Take a skin slack towards the spine and do a move on and out on the out breath of the person and you do a move out. So that move can either be done with the palm of the hand or you can do it with your fingers. If you do it with your fingers you can see the skin slack better. So you see me taking the skin slack, engaging on the edge of the muscle and then doing a a lateral move. So that's the first part of the asthma or upper respiratory procedure. So now we need to turn the client over. And we come to this side again. And we're doing three moves just underneath the xiphoid process here where the solar plexus is. Uh, so the first move is underneath the rib on the opposite side so you go with your thumb to do the move okay so there's a holding point as well which you do with your middle finger so I'm holding just underneath the zipphoid process I put my thumb one finger width below that thumb and on and out so I ask a client to breathe in and then breathe out and on the out breath I'm doing a move underneath the ribs there okay so we'll do that again on this side so we'll have the holding point which is the xiphoid process the solar plexus is underneath my finger there and on this edge of the rib you go, we're doing a move just underneath the edge of that ribs there Okay, so we have a breath in, moving with my middle finger, breath out. Good. And then the last move of your middle finger, you take a skin slack up towards the as if I process, and then on and out breath, you do a move down towards the belly button. Okay, let it go just as far as the skin slack will allow you to go. Okay, good.